Well, listen, she has spent the last two years making women's dreams come true, and now the West Baltimore native is getting a chance to make her own come to life, competing in a national reality show for entrepreneurs. WMAR 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington shows us what she's all about. For Atara Styles, getting dressed has always been one of the simple joys in life. When her mom passed away during the pandemic in 2020, that simple joy became much more meaningful. It just it knocked the wind out of me. And getting dressed was one of those ways I got out of my slump because we're already in the house. I'm putting some clothes on. My mood instantly elevated. She decided to take that feeling and run with it. Atara already had an entrepreneurial spirit. She'd been a makeup artist since she was in college. But as you might imagine, that wasn't a profession that was exactly thriving during the height of COVID. She wanted to try something new. Now she runs an agency as a plus size stylist, helping women make wardrobe decisions that, as she puts it, take them from the comfort zone to the confidence zone. Atara hopes to make up for a lack of plus size representation in the fashion industry, a goal that's also inspired by her mother. I remember years ago, my mom going shopping for her job interview and walking out the store saying, you know, this is depressing. And I can only imagine I was like maybe maybe eight, nine years old in there like, well, mommy, try this. And it was just, you know, but she just was defeated. I don't think she went home with anything. She wants women to leave her office feeling the exact opposite. That idea caught the eye of the decision makers for a national reality show called The Blocks. Welcome to The Blocks, the greatest show on entrepreneurship. It's a competition for entrepreneurs in its seventh season. The showrunner is a famous contestant from the real world. Out of about 50,000 applicants, just 70 are chosen. Atara was one of them. It was like within 24 hours, oh, you're exactly what we're looking for. She flew to Kansas City in January for the week-long competition, taking part in challenges each night. Along the way, the competitors were given tools for expanding their businesses when they went back home. We won't spoil how it ends, but Atara says it was the opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, and we know what you're thinking. I gotta ask, is that your real last name or did you? I uh, made it, I made it work for the, for the brand. There you yes. go, there you go. It's all about the branding. <laughs> yes, right. Speaking of branding, Atara wanted us to let you know about her next event in Baltimore. You can find all the details on WMAR2news.com. That's where you can also find where to watch her compete on the show, which premiered this week. In Baltimore County, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR2news.